So in the recent video, I have reviewed the two new vehicles such as the BTR-80 and the VCAC Mephisto. And today, we are back for more as you guys did like that video and wanted to see another review regarding the new weapons, which are the four new weapons that came from the daily reward system, which was recently implemented. I am here today to do that for you guys since you really enjoyed it. And I gotta say, the shotgun, which is the main weapon that comes at the end, might even be one of the best weapons in the game once again. Just the same as the VCAC yesterday. Anyway, let's just jump right into it and show you guys. Alright, so here we are into the game again. This is our daily world, which I'm just gonna be claiming every single day. And with that, I will also have a spin, which I guess I may as well roll for the sake of today's video. Why the hell not? I'm probably not gonna get the AWP. As I said, I got ripped off last time for 6,000 Robux. I'll probably get ripped off again. Let's see. Yeah, oh, we're on 1 million cash. They baited me, of course, as always. Yeah, the chances of this are like insane. They always love to bait me with this offer. Anyway, here are the four weapons which we're going to be reviewing throughout today's video. So the first one is going to be the Sage. Second one is going to be the AK-12 rifle. The third, the USB-45 pistol. The MP7 SMG. So let me just claim all of them, which they are all of the free weapons. And here they are. This is how they present. And the first thing which I'm going to be jumping right into is I'm probably going to see how well they're going to shoot. And then next, I'm going to start to look at them statistically on how good they actually are. So let me this just is the first one, which is like the Sage shotgun. I can already see that it has a very big crosser and that's necessarily not a good thing sometimes. However, there are a few things that can make this more accurate. I know for a fact this is not going to be the most accurate. However, it does have a kind of a cool scene, so let me give it a shot. Let's see. I mean, it's not supposed to do much damage uh, to the shield. I know that it's definitely a very high bullet spread. That's the one thing. Yeah, look at the bullet spread right here. Yeah, you guys would have to be super, super close to the person if you want to actually hit them. Anyway, the next weapon which you have is going to be the AK-12 Auto. So, by the way, you can also reload it to have 31 ammunition, which is also a helpful trick. So, let's see. Ooh, okay. This weapon actually feels very controlled, if I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna take a look at its recoil, but I don't feel much recoil. The zoom is actually quiet. Oh yeah, the zoom is also great on this. And it's such a controlled weapon. Yeah, I really like this as well. And they are all black weapons as well, in fact. Alright, let me go up here and let me use the USB, which you can also make half. 13 ammo. This is obviously supposed to be a better version of the uh, M17. Alright. Okay, I've seen a few weapons like this before, and the damage of this seems decent at least. I mean, looking at the shield, I've done some decent damage considering I'm also using a different uh, shield, which is the two-time shield. And here we have the MP7 Auto. Okay, so this is supposed to be an SMG once again for the ammo. Let's see how fast it shoots. Oh, this shoots quite fast. However, it also feels very controlled. It also has a zoom. Correct, yep. Yeah, none of these weapons seem to be having the high recoil, and they are much different than the foul heavy, in fact. So now let's take a look at the statistics, starting Alright, so taking a look at the AK-12, let's see the statistics. It is 21.8 damage, fire rate is 700, which is actually good to have a lower fire rate, because then your shots are much more controlled. The range is 3.2k, which is like the average. Accuracy, 86.6%. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. The uh, H recoil is going to be 10, and V recoil is also going to be 10. And and taking a look at some things that we could add to make the recoil uh, lower. So of course we would definitely uh, be good to get this by getting 125 kills, which is actually very difficult to grind this. Next we have the grips, and the grips is mainly what loves to decrease the recoil. Here we have it. Yeah, these are some pretty good grips. Again, at the end of the day, I'm not the biggest expert at all this kind of stuff. However, I'm good at analyzing data a little bit. And the muzzle is kind of just giving us a suppressor which will make it more quiet. Alright, so here is our first weapon. The second weapon which we have is going to be the USB. So let's analyze the USB by typing it in there. Alright, so this is supposed to be a typical Glock, and I believe this is a little stronger than the Glock. Alright, so 19.5 damage, fire 750, range 750, which is not that good. Accuracy 73.7%, yeah, pistols are not this accurate. However, its uh, recoil seems to be certainly low, 6 and 7. That is really good, actually. Alright, so the damage is not really the best. I would like to also really quickly take a look at the Glock, which I believe we get. Is it called a Glock? Yes. 
and this seems to be a little bit more powerful than the Glock and almost has the same design in fact. Anyway, the next weapon which we have here is going to be the MP7. MP7, the SMG. Let's see if it's going to become the best SMG in the game. I very much hope so because that does deserve that role. So 15 damage, not too high, okay? Not too high. Uh, fire rate 950, range 500. Yeah, it's not really the best range, but it's an SMG. The accuracy 82.4%, so that's pretty decent. The recoil is a little bit lower than the previous weapon, which I've shown you guys. Not the pistol, but the assault rifle, I believe that was. Yeah, this is a, again, a decent weapon, but none of these actually catch my attention in it being the best weapon. So, now the last one, which we have, which is the, probably the one you guys have been waiting for, is going to be the Sage. So, let me get the Sage and... I do believe that Sage should be the best shotgun in the game. And I'll tell you guys in a second why. So the damage is going to be 75, 275 range, 2.5k, which is actually really, really good for a shotgun. Accuracy is 0%, I believe that's a glitch unless it's like this for every shotgun. But here's the thing, the recoil in this is huge, guys. So if you would like to lower the recoil, you really gotta get the scope, okay? All right, the next so thing which I would like to test and actually in fact show you guys is the biggest thing about this shotgun, which you probably have not realized yet, and I'm gonna be showing you guys. This is a semi-automatic shotgun, or it's just an automatic shotgun. I don't really know the actual um, grammatical name of it. As you guys can see, look how fast it can shoot. You see, this is different than the KSG-12, because the KSG-12 shoots a lot slower. See? It, that's the thing. And I believe this shotgun could be a very quick way to end your opponents. Alright, so taking a look at the KSG-12, it only does 5 more damage than the um, semi-automatic shotgun. However, look at the recoil here! The recoil is huge, guys! Alright, so what we gotta check out here now is see on a player on how fast these weapons are gonna be killing any random player. So let's just jump right into the game. Alright, there's the guy. Ooh, that's a quick kill. I mean, this guy doesn't have anything, but that's a really quick kill if I'm gonna be honest. And yeah, this is just a random guy sitting in his bunker. But I'm just trying to test this shotgun in a lot more detail. Alright, so I guess this guy is probably not gonna spawn in. Actually, he did just spawn in. Um... Yeah, I don't think this guy's killing me. I'm just gonna go to another base. Alright, so I'm on the way to a base and there's an ADAS right here. So I may as well just take it out. It probably doesn't have any missiles, but... What do I lose from fighting it? Nothing. Oh, there's another tank here! What the hell is going on? There's a war over here, bro. T14 Armada, bro? Heck nah, bro. Alright, two people taken out. Alright, so here's a random guy. Let's test our weapon on this. Let's just quickly destroy this. Oh, somebody just tried to shoot at me. That's fine. Let me try the USP. Oh god, this guy's got a pretty good gun. Let me use the MP7. Alright, that's my favorite SMG. Alright, yeah, that's actually pretty good. And what I love about this SMG, it doesn't shoot as quickly as the other SMGs in this game. Which kind of makes it a lot more fun. And it also makes you be able to aim your shots a lot better. Also, somebody's shooting a jump. Here is our enemy. Alright, headshot at the enemy, as I said. I'm not gonna let this kind of stuff slide. This guy- Like, why is there so many people just trying to attack you and I'm trying to test these weapons for you guys, like... Alrighty, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's actually kind of hard to get out of the sky, let's see. Um... Oh, we got him. Alright, missile one. It actually hit him and he wasted his flares, so now he's gone. Oh! Okay, I guess I have to do the old-fashioned way, is killing him like this. Alright, that also works with me. That's a DeLorean in the sky. We can take that down as well, that won't be a problem for me. As long as this guy kind of sits, stands in a straight line, <laughs> otherwise I don't think I can snipe him out of the sky. However, there is a speedy Humvee here. Oh, this guy's trying to get in my tank. There's two! Alright, one is gone. Where is this guy? Alright, taken out. Enemy gone. Oh, that's another- We have to wait this guy out. That's the only strategy here, because I'm quite low on health. However, what I can do here is use an airstrike on this dude. That is also a strat, and that's definitely gonna work. Alright, he's gonna probably die to my airstrike. Yep. 
Strategy over skill, guys. Strategy over skill. Okay, no, I mean, I, I was able to beat him there, but I didn't want to risk it on low health. I do think that this video was a little bit chaotic. However, I just had so many people attacking me at the same time, and I also tried to attack some people to also show you guys how good the shotgun is. But the idea is, it's a very good shotgun because it can shoot very fast and automatically, in fact. So I believe it might be better than the KSG-12. 